Rose. Welcome back to The Girls Wanna Know. I am Alicia with my co-host. Fatima Talia. How's it going, boo? What's up? Girl, it was a week. It was a week? Uh, It'd be a week. Mm -hmm. It'd be a week. I cried for the whole day on Thursday and then got my period Friday and I was like, why is being a woman so predictable? Why the fuck is it like this? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. But you know what? We're moving through it. You know how I got through it? How you get through it? Therapeutic for me was to change my profile pic. (laughs) <laughs> on Instagram, <laughs> that's okay. it. Makes me laugh because I was like, "This is how I feel." Like okay. he looked like he, you know, he just oh, woke up James and Brown? that bill is late and that okay. <laughs> James Brown, I just feel like always looked like he was going through something, and he was. And he, because, but he feel good though. Yeah, so that's kind of like you know he was that sweating, was, baby. Know. He yeah. Okay. <laughs> you know what? It was either that or I was gonna pick Whitney Houston, like looking, you know, you know. Sometimes <laughs> like, though, it's as long as you can identify and relate to somebody, you feel like at least I'm not alone, right? It's gotta be. I was like, or dude, when he was drunk with the cheeseburger, like it was who over. Was drunk for with him. the cheeseburger. <laughs> Wait, who? <laughs> I forget. It was it. What was his name? He was like a really big Baywatch. Bro, I don't even star. know who we talking to. He's oh, a Baywatch ha- star. Ha- Hasselhoff. Yeah, and he had got drunk and they had filmed him eating a cheeseburger. I don't even remember that, but I do remember him getting like a DUI or something. And it was like he's he's washed. Okay. <laughs> like I was like, any picture Hasselhoff. This is like, I'm done. Like okay. that's how I be feeling. <laughs> I, I feel like we really do be talking to each other off the ledge like once a week. Like some somebody's gonna have the turn. Like, one of us is going to have a malfunction and the other one is going to be like, bitch, you cannot jump this week. You have to keep it together. We are st- we got shit to do. Like, sure. <laughs> we take turns. Yeah, I mean, I feel like it just is silly, though, because it's like, why is that? Why is that the now? Why is that the now? <laughs> why do we keep having to go through ridiculous names? Yeah. I don't know. This is just. I just want to go ride bikes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we just like Sounds millennials. Simple, this actually. is just the millennial. Actually, this is just the experience of people living in the time that we live in, I think. Yeah, it's just uh, full of fuck shit, and we just out here trying to stress out, wade through it. Um, oh, you can't. Oh, my bad. So yeah, so what are we talking about today? <laughs> lean. All right, no. Uh, we were talking about how yesterday we were talking about how as you get older, like what matters to you and what doesn't, mm-hmm. and like how that suddenly really changes the way everything in your life moves. Mm-hmm. Like even like I was saying. How we got on the topic was I was saying when I was younger, I was able to like do multiple jobs, Mm -hmm. still have the energy to go to the gym and hang out with my friends and come up with new business plans and another idea and like still be amped to like show up for the party the next night, like three nights in a row. You get up in the morning, you be tired as hell, you go to work, you come home, you get dressed for the party, turn up with your friends, mm-hmm. go home drunk as hell, get up again at 6 a.m. and do it all over again. And Which you could crazy. sustain that kind of fuckery for like four or five nights in a row. I used to work like that when I worked in uh, food and beverage Yeah, while trying to do comedy. Mm-hmm. But in other, in other words, what I was saying, it's like, how do you maintain the energy to keep stay, to stay motivated at a high level of how we have to be in our I don't even society think, nowadays. I don't think we like, maintain that though. I think that's the whole thing that happens with coming of age and like kind of growing up is you realize that it's not sustainable to exist in that kind of like hustle culture. Go 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 constantly, and you end up is, just though. hitting the wall. Is now, now like everybody I can't got a podcast. Do it. I'm not doing <laughs> like that. like literally. There's like some like. Have you ever gotten in a, an Uber and? You know, the driver, he's had a pretty nice car. You know, you're like, what is this guy? Why mm-hmm. is he, why are you picking me up in this? Yeah. You know, and you get in the back and he tells you like, oh, I'm the CEO of like <laughs> the whole world. Oh. And you're like, what? He's yeah, like, oh yeah, I-, I do this on the weekends for extra money. You're like, Pff. baby, if I get <laughs> into a CEO's <laughs> What I'm list, saying is you yeah. kind of got to have that extra energy now. And it's like, because. But as you get older, you be like, I want to go to bed. Right. And like, we do. But you've got to think of a new business plan. <laughs> Before you're gonna sleep. That's just that's what I'm getting at. In other words, like it's moving so fast that like the other day we were all like, man, we like mastered what we wanted to do for our career path. Yes. Right? We're like, we're there, we did that. But they're like, but this this new shit where you gotta be constantly on social media now. You do, yeah. So now you like, I'm a thousand years old. <laughs> Trying to figure out how to create a TikTok and cap cut. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, I'm tired, bro. Doing like, a fucking dance. Like- so it's like, how do you keep up, you know, as you as you evolve and as you mature, how do you keep up with like the way it's moving? I feel like now you have to be. Well, um. so I think I think that's what I'm saying, though, is at this point in my life, the coming of age part of me, the part that is not trying to like keep up, 
I'm just trying to do what I can do. Ooh. And whatever I can do is going to have to be enough because I'm not about to exert myself and like <laughs> burn out again. I love I'm that. Already, yeah. And that's maturity. Yes. This you know is coming why? of because, age. This is saying yeah. what I did in my 20s did not work for me. And I spent a lot of time extremely stressed out. And I spent a lot of time just really fighting for my life. <laughs> and I just don't have the bandwidth to fight for my life right now. Like, and I so already got to fight with my life, for my life. Yeah. yeah. But people say that like when they're like breaking up with friends. They're like, listen, I got too much going on already. Yes. I, can't, I can't save us. Yes. It'd be so silly. But you hear that a lot. Like people... Start to as you get older too, you start to be like, I am choosing who I am around yeah. because of my anxiety yes. or because I can't deal with her talking about this politic thing yes. or this. Like you start being like, instead of thinking fun, I like you even, do when you're young, you yeah. like, I just want to go because I want to have a good time. Yeah, I don't want to miss out. You got FOMO for everything yeah. when you're older yeah. or when you're younger. When you're older, you really don't give a fuck. No, I you don't can, give a fuck. No, about you know out. now. You could just watch their story. Exactly, and, and be, like, be like, I didn't want to go to this shit. Yeah, no way. This I'm, glad I'm glad I'm laying in my bed. <laughs> <laughs> this shit looks boring. Yeah, uh, yeah like, but I, you do need to like in the entrepreneur world though. You do have to be out and be present. You and do. get to know people, and I feel like as I get older, the that that's more hard. That's harder for me it meeting is. people. Like I was laughing at myself the other day. I was like, not a, not you looking for a book on how to socialize, girl. <laughs> You really gotta you gotta watch a TikTok. <laughs> you gotta. I, I mean, saw this thing where this guy like writes down when he's going out with his friends. He writes down topics that he wants to cover while he's out with his friends. So that's that kind he of a good idea. It's a great idea, especially if you have social anxiety. Mm, I do. Pre planning what you're gonna talk about is a wonderful way to not because a lot of people are not comfortable with silences. That's me. I'm not. I'm a Virgo, so we could sit in silence. We don't never gotta say shit. That's my vibe, actually. Like you remember that um, yeah. scene in Superbad. When they were all sitting in that room and everybody got quiet, and he was like, "These eyes, <laughs> no. these eyes, I'll never." Maybe like, me not seeing Superman <laughs> since like 2011. That's it's my, been a minute. That's my movie. I actually it's did just, love that movie. Shit. It's a great movie. But that's like me. Like yeah. if it get too quiet, I might do something weird. You gotta, just to, you gotta just break up the <laughs> what's the silence, the ADHD. Yeah, I'm definitely not. I will just slink into my mind, and then somebody will be like, "Hello, are you with us?" Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought we was being quiet. That's another thing. I think as you get older too. Now you start noticing the different things that are, that make you feel a certain kind of way. Mm -hmm. And then you actually, like, some of my friends be like, I think I have autism type stuff. Damn. They be saying, they be like, but and they check what, in though? and they like, I got adult autism. You what the like, thing is, you really, <laughs> so at this point, we have so much more access to being diagnosed. A lot of us did yeah, but grow who, up. Like when you young, you don't care. You like, I'm just out here. You do. When you get you older, just, you like, now yeah. let me diagnose Let me. me go to the doctor and have somebody actually look and figure out what's going on with me so I could like, so get my now life you have the way I need too. it to be. So now you're like, how do I go to this job interview? Or how do I go But the thing is, to... it's the same way you've been doing everything else. But I have a lot of friends that w once they reach like in their mid-30s, late 30s, they're always like, I don't know how to make new friends. I don't like some, there aren't people like us that live in LA mm -hmm. that just can go outside and it's like stuff going on. Yeah. Like LA is that kind of a life. Yeah. But I have friends that are in smaller towns and they're like, how do I, I get at a certain age, I'm like not really trying to meet people, but yeah. I need that to get jobs or... I'm at a certain age where I don't know how to find somebody to date because yeah. I don't really want to go outside like that. Yeah. Like, so yeah. to me, I think as you get older, where do you find the motivation to keep being as motivated as you were in your youth? Because you have to nowadays. So I think the thing in order, is, like in order to be like successful, you, you kind of have to be. Yeah, you got to pick a lane. So if so, you, as we getting ready to sell some teas up in here, <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm just saying, what's the solution? You like, got to pick a lane, though. If yeah. you are a person who struggles with, um, like being social, but you feel like you need to network and you need to get out and meet people. You're going to have to figure out like two days a week. This is when I'm doing this. And then you could be a hermit for the rest of the yeah. week. But if you're trying to figure out how in your 30s to replicate what you were doing in your 20s, this is just not something I advise. Yeah. Because as you get older, your body is, you should be becoming more in tune with what your body and your mind need. And right. if your natural inclination is to kind of shift away from the things that you were doing before, that's kind of your intuition saying something about what we were doing before wasn't working. Mm -hmm. Let's figure out a new way. Let's adapt a new kind of lifestyle as we're going into this new phase that is something that could be more sustainable. 
because it's, it, it wasn't sustainable what we were doing back then. I think and that's what I mean. Like, yeah, that's, what, that's where I'm at. Yeah. Like, for me, back then, I would, you know, risk my rest because I'm just like, I want to know what they're doing. But we can't do that because your brain will legit just be like, yeah, um, I'm ready to turn out all the lights. Like, I don't know about you, but I'm ready to take a long nap. Yeah. And then you just got to be like, okay, well, fuck. I, I think the idea of the schedule, that kind of helps. Like, if you tell yourself you have to go out and mingle and meet people mm-hmm. at least. Once or twice a week somewhere. Because yeah. I have some friends that don't want to do that, though. Yeah. But I think... Because of, of the needs. of, For example, yeah. like as you get older, you're like, oh, I got back problems. I gotta, I want to lay down. I want to be in the house by this time. That's your way out of not going and it socialize. Is. But now. I think it's a it's a form of discipline, right? That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. getting maybe on some type of schedule mm-hmm. of some sort. Because I feel like as you get older, you be like, I can't maintain... I couldn't imagine doing what I was doing in my 20s. Working in two different restaurants, then trying to go do comedy, then still trying to mm-hmm. audition. Like, what? Yeah, I definitely was burning the candle at both ends. I think also as you get, but older, don't you though, feel like, how, but how, like you, but you reach the point of your like where you're at, like where you where you're trying to get to in your life through that, and then you get older and you're like, I don't want to burn out. I got this is this is it. I'm here. Well, I yeah, gotta, I gotta find the last minute of the steam. Like, <laughs> so I can't just it's go funny to sleep. that you say that because I'm kind of at a point right now where I'm living the life that I dreamed about like six years ago. Like, I really am. We have the podcast. Like, I can food blog full time at this point. And I don't have anybody to report to, right? And the money hasn't, like, necessarily come in yet. But that's okay. It'll come. But I'm in this place where I'm living the life that I want to live. And I'm having to be, like, I do have to push past my comfort zone a lot. That's what I'm the, saying. Yeah, like, how do you yes, find the... Because you get to this point and you're just tired as fuck. Cause I've right, been and then you really... want to make yourself comfortable. Yes. I guess I'm not really going to explain. I'm like, because I'll be... Sometimes I'm like... You so now you're like, no, I'm not going to overwork myself yeah. because you're comfortable with you're that. You're tired. You're tired of fighting through all the things. Yeah. But then I don't, but then you'll get too comfortable and you'll mm-hmm. be like, you know what? No, I'm going to get my rest. I don't, those people <laughs> don't need me. Like that's, I know that I do that sometimes. I do that sometimes, but that's what I'm saying. Like the discipline of it all comes in because yeah. it's really setting a boundary for yourself of like, I'm not going to let this feeling of exhaustion that I have. And you are exhausted, right? Because we've been working since we were 16 years old. So, I mean, if, if that's the case, you'd be like, you just sick of people at this point. A hundred percent. But we've been sick of Every people. Every manager sound like the same character yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, right, right. Like, but I think you just, <laughs> <laughs> the discipline comes in and it says, okay, in order for me to get to this next phase of my life, I'm going to block out these two days for this. If yeah. I got back pain, I'm going to block out 20 minutes in the morning so I could do my little stretches. If yeah. I have like, you know, for me, fitness goals, I'm going to make sure that I block out 45 minutes every day so I can get a workout in. It's really about discipline at this point and saying, okay, I'm tired as fuck, but knowing my, my trainer, when I say trainer, y'all be using, um, beach body workouts. What's like that? beach body is like P90X, uh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the same company, but the lady that I use is on Bar Blend, and she always says the hardest work comes at the end. Right when you trying mm-hmm. to make a big change in your life, all of your demons are going to come out of the closet to tango. They want to hang Ugh. out again. they like, bitch, we ain't seen you in a while. Let's kick it. No. And you know what? It actually sounds great because you're fucking tired. Yeah. However, yeah. however, because you're at this pivotal moment in your life where you're kind of at your one shot, right? Because you know when you're kind of getting to a place where, oh, this is my time. I need to turn it on. If you're at that place, you really have to get into a mental space of, okay, I got to really lock in on my discipline, even though I want to lay down bad as hell. Even though I just want to like be a hermit and not exert myself anymore. I think having an accountability partner is important. It's very important. Like you got to have somebody in your life. Like I always tell my friends, you can tell somebody this all day. Yeah. Like if they have crazy work hours, right? Because a lot of us do. Yeah. And when you get to a certain age, you have a day job or a side job, you be tired. Like, mm-hmm. it ain't no gym happening. You know, mm-hmm. And I don't blame you. Sometimes yeah. it be like that. But you need somebody that you can, that's going to be like, no, let's just do it. Let's mm-hmm. just push through. You need a, somebody that's going to go with you. That's why I be like, we take turns yeah. pulling each other out of our funks. Because yeah. we really do, I think both of us have been at <clears throat> a different version of what we're trying to accomplish for so long mm-hmm. that the exhaustion will really overtake your mental and you be ready to give up yeah and you do need somebody who will say okay we can't give up right now bitch keep yeah. going they gotta push you across the finish line so yeah. accountability yeah. partners i think are important yeah or have somebody somebody that you know maybe you guys both make a you gotta do a, this and before yeah. or whatever type like a, thing a, a fitness schedule but for yeah. your life 
Yeah. But I feel like I do have a lot of friends like that lose lack of motivation as they mm-hmm. get older because it's like they're tired. They have mm-hmm. a lot of things in their plate. I know as you get older too, if you have kids too, you're yeah. like, I have like one of my friends, you know, it's wild. Cause I'm always like complaining about all the stuff I go through mm-hmm. in my career, but I have friends with like multiple kids. Baby. I really am. I believe like, I, I, I think <laughs> once I have children, it's going to be a two children household because I fully feel like you need seems one parent per child. And then each <sighs> of those children needs another adult on top of the parent who can assist with things as they come up. I mean, she has to work her full day of work, mm-hmm. do and what all that is mom. with her energy. But it's mind. just not even just come home and be mom. She's always like, I got to take such and such to this practice, mm-hmm. such and such to this choir thing. Baby, I don't talk to my sister when she don't be it. Like, literally it's wild. every like, single oh. day, you on the way to practice for somebody or picking somebody up from practice mm-hmm. or from school or buying a uniform or taking somebody to get, like, whatever done. Like, it's just never but imagine ending doing for them. all that and then yeah. thinking, like, I need to go back to school or yeah. I need to start working on my personal business or like that's how you have to find like how do you fit in the time in that part of your life to motivate you to be like this needs to get done even though I am crashing probably because you're gonna have to that's kind of what it is I think the accountability partners are necessary and finding like you said um a routine yeah discipline yeah Yeah. like gym in the morning Mm -hmm. you know like it could start with just making up your bed really this is true making Mm -hmm. your bed uh, there's like scientific studies about the way that people who make their bed are more effective throughout their day. Mm-hmm. And I don't really have the details right now, but you can look that <laughs> I up. I think that is a thing. Someone <laughs> told a thing. me that once. People who yeah. make their bed yeah. typically have a more productive day than those. And not even productive in the sense in they're getting a bunch of shit done. Productive in the me- in the way that they're doing the things that they want to do more consistently because they started with making the bed. I'm yeah. not, I don't know why no, that I, works, I, but I'm, it does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it absolutely works. I think. Haven't you noticed when you make your bed, you get more done throughout the day? If you don't make your bed, you're going to end up back in the bed. I, well, I also, well. <laughs> <laughs> that could happen. <laughs> that could happen. That can absolutely Like usually happen, when I don't yeah. make up my bed, because I'm one of those people that's kind of OCD, I'll make up my bed. If I don't make up my bed, I know that you I'm coming back nap, there. A mid-morning nap. I'm planning on it already. You know, I'm already like, you know what? I support that. Mm-hmm. A mid-morning nap, always a good oh, idea. Oh, 2 p.m.? Yeah. To like 4? I yeah. don't know what's going on That's on how you Earth. get your second win. Maybe that's... That's how you get your second win. 2 p.m. Yeah. to 4 is... I don't know what Earth be on, but the sleep be fire. It be... Yeah, it would be real nice. It'd I nice. I definitely think You will that call off <laughs> in the middle of a 2 to 4 nap. I feel like adults need nap time. <laughs> like, they need to build that entire work schedule. Like... This Listen. is one of those things from childhood that you hated and as an adult you really fucking love. What? A nap. Oh, yeah. If they built a nap into our work schedule, bitch, do you know how many people would some places be do more perha- per- productive and happier just in general? Yeah. I think that the would just really... is the... I mean, <laughs> the tech offices nah, be doing... Sure. No, but the tech offices really do be having the whole... Like, y'all got, uh, like, restaurants in the building. Yeah. They have ping pong rooms and... A uh, massage parlor, like they got the whole lineup in the building, but it's because they want you to work forty two hours in a day. That's gonna say that's luxury yeah. slavery right it's there, baby. Luxury. That yes. sounds nice. It's um, <laughs> it's a whole different ball game. Wow, like yeah. But yeah. thinking of how we kind of change, aside from like time, um, and the way that we kind of ran ourselves into the ground, what other ways do you feel like you have come of age from your twenties to your thirties to now? Who I hang around, child. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I feel like now, like, I, it's just, when you've been around my block enough, now you can just tell. Like, as soon as somebody come around mm-hmm. you and you feel, you be like, I'm just never going to see her again. Yeah. I'm not even going to tell her. <laughs> I'm not going to alert her. I'm not going to write a We're letter. Have a conversation somehow. About it. it was so nice to meet you. Somehow you don't even you'll gotta never call see me. me Thank again. you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm definitely, yeah. I think also once you end certain relationships you end a long relationship that you thought you were going to be in you leave a job Mm -hmm. it really makes you super comfortable cutting shit off you just get very like oh no and exit get it out yeah like i don't need it it doesn't bother you like that's that's a a lot of that for me also like with jobs too like when they be terrible Mm -hmm. and it's weird i used to be like real like ah help me now i'll be like okay we got to create a plan on how to like scam how to exit I'm kidding. No, but I be, no, a lot of times too, I'm like, okay, if they overwork me, then I'm going to be like, do this or do that. Figure mm-hmm. out ways to like outsmart some way to make me look better in the end. And mm-hmm. I just feel like, yeah, I don't know. But 
Yeah. I, I, I definitely am of the mindset that I am more capable and comfortable of cutting people off now, but I also am a lot more comfortable with setting boundaries. Oh, so yeah. I used to be such a people pleaser, people which pleaser. people won't really believe about me, but I was for people that I cared about, or if I was in like an uncomfortable situation, mm -hmm. I would do what would make the other person more comfortable mm -hmm. and then deal with myself on the back end. And the thing is, what I've learned about myself is when I make myself uncomfortable to accommodate someone else, mm -hmm. I'm so hard on myself after the fact. Mm, like the ruminations you, okay. be just, I go over it in my mind a hundred thousand times and it's extremely um, uh, mentally and emotionally taxing. Because I yeah, feel like, you, disappointed oh, okay. in myself. Oh, yeah. Wow. I feel okay. disappointed in myself, but I also feel guilty that I didn't stick up for myself in the way that I need to. Okay. okay. Yeah. So like a couple weeks ago, I was driving. I understand. Okay. I understand. Yeah. I was doing Lyft and this guy, I went downtown. I was downtown. It was like eight o'clock on a Saturday night. Okay. So I'm downtown. I pull up to where I'm supposed to be picking this person up. They are not outside. They end up calling me. They're like, where are you? I'm like, I tell them where I'm at, where I am. And he's like, oh, okay, I'm walking up behind you right now. But when they get up to the car, it's like a guy and another guy. And the one guy is holding the other guy under the elbow, like helping him walk to the car. And I'm just kind of like looking like, is this motherfucker drunk? Uh -huh. And so he gets into the car on the passenger side in the back seat. And he scoots all the way across the seat to behind me. And okay. his eyes are barely open. Oh, I'm no. talking about, yeah. I can't figure out what's going on with you. And so I look at his friend You're and I go. You're going to jail now. Yeah. No. <laughs> I was like, are you, is he drunk? And his, no. his friend was like, yeah, he just really needs to get home. I was like, oh, I can't take him like this. Oh, no. I'm not going to ride with him like this. And he was like, Thanks man, he just really coming. needs to get home. But this is the thing. For me in that moment, I'm thinking to myself, because the friend was not going, there are a couple different ways that this could go. So it could just be completely innocuous. You get in the car, I take you home, you get out, we're good. Or you could get in the car and pass out and I can't get you out of the car when we get yeah, to the destination. Yeah, that's too much. Nobody you has get to get in think, the car and yeah. throw up. Yeah. Or no. you assault me because you're wasted. And not that men have to be wasted. They'll just do it the first time they wake up in the morning. But I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm alone with a man who is wasted. I wouldn't even put myself I'm in that position in my twenties. I'd have been like, Skirt, skirt. Yeah, but I think <laughs> I think off. for me it was just really me looking at his friend like, get this fool what? out of my car. Like I'm not doing this. And I felt so comfortable to be like, I'm not doing it. I don't give a fuck how many times you tell me he needs yeah. to get home. Get him out of here. Yeah. And he finally took him out of the car. And I just thought to myself, like, I'm really proud of myself. Because you're right. I probably wouldn't have done it in my 20s, but I might have overthought it in my 20s. Like, oh, I don't had know. The thought of like, oh, if I don't take him, this will happen. Yeah. Like, and then also. Convince yourself you should. Yeah. Okay. And then also, if I don't do it, I overthink it in the sense that oh, I hope I wasn't rude. Or if I'm setting a boundary for my own safety at this point, I don't give a fuck how it comes off. I don't need to be kind to people. I don't need to make you feel good. They also didn't care if you robbed that guy. They didn't. You don't care about your <laughs> friend, sir. Because you crazy. really try to put him drunk as hell in a car with a random person and have me take him home. Think I about how we all roll now. Money. That's how we do. Maybe I could have dropped him off in the middle of the jicks and just his told them like, to have their way. gotta get home. <laughs> like, uh, take your man's home, sir. <laughs> That's crazy. But I was, I think for me, like, as I've gotten older, I've become a lot more comfortable setting boundaries and because saying, I understand yeah. Saying that. no, yeah. Yeah, oh, I don't want to have to deal with myself. No, don't I'm even feel like no, no critic. more. You be like, I be saying no. Listen, I've been on, <laughs> Girl, I've been on Facebook Marketplace trying mm -hmm. to sell stuff because I'm getting ready to move and people be like, can I have it for a no? I'll be yeah. right back. Like, I'll be swinging no's like. Yes, and it feels great. I send somebody home. <laughs> they came, they came, they came right on over there and looked at it and was like, can we get it? For? I was like, baby, the door is to the left. Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Because I just think people, no. <laughs> people will really try to like slide in and see what they could get away with. You know, you just, Nothing. as you get older, yeah. But I mean, I think as far as like finding the motivation, you got to like have, you got to figure out a plan. Cause yeah. I feel like when I'm not on a plan, yeah, I'm going to lay down. Yeah. Especially if you self-employed. I feel like I've been doing that a little too when you much recently. It's, it's, yeah, it's, it's kinda, real easy to just like scroll the whole life away. Do, like, oh, yeah. That yeah, is a thing. You got to really be They have timers for that, don't they? Yeah. There's timers on your iPhone if you want to set it. So like, That's true. Yeah, if you want to set I it. I do feel like the older generation be scrolling away. Mm -hmm. They got us. Yeah, they definitely do. Um, <laughs> <laughs> gone, baby. It's really a thing that you have to be intentional about. When you're using social media, and we said this on the last episode, not to scroll like mindlessly because you will look up and have wasted an hour. And True. that's time you could have been putting into your business. And so I went into mm -hmm. Notion at the beginning of this year and legitimately like 
planned out every single hour of my day. I have yet to do this, guys. But I did do the planning. And so when I get to the point where I'm ready to live out my like most boss bitch life, mm -hmm. I have a rubric. I have a, a thing that I can refer to to say, oh, this is what I'm supposed to be doing from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Oh, yeah, you definitely. This, you yeah. have to write it out, though. And I don't think people like to get that granular. That's basically but, you're like, you have to plan as you yeah, get older. You won't remember what you're you coming. You won't remember. And you'll waste a day. <laughs> like, like yeah. yeah. You just got a lot of shit on your mind. You, you do. Too. Like, that's, I think also as I get older now, I laugh at how I used to kind of make fun of my mother when I was younger. Oh, yeah. We like, different them. stuff. We yeah, you get older, them. you be like, I, I need a cigarette and I don't smoke. Yeah. This is what I'm trying We become our parents. I remember my mama <laughs> took some perfume back to Victoria's Secret because it, for some reason, the chemicals in it broke down at the end of the bottle. Like it was like a fourth of the perfume. What, what do you left. mean? Like when you sprayed it on, it didn't smell like it sprayed. It oh, smelled okay. at the beginning. But my mom said that smell needs to last from the top of the bottle to the bottom. So she's like, <laughs> she took that shit back. Baby, she didn't take back a sandwich. My mama will take back anything. And I used to be How so- How do you take back a sandwich? Baby, she been into that you sandwich. She said, oh, now. this is not what I thought it was going to be. And hit the U-turn and took that shit back to the store. I would love to be the employee that day. And she got a refund. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the and ladies on the other side of the counter. Yes. Right? They going to refund my mama for anything. My mama has gotten refunds on the most absurd things. But- I mean, just I think about that. Now. How was your shift? Some lady Somebody came in with a half a bit sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having it. She really retired. She had a receipt, so she I had she to get her, her money back. back. But the thing is, I am that person now. If I'm Hell not satisfied, I will return any fucking thing. I don't care because the thing is, I'm not about to give a corporation my money <laughs> and you not giving me the products that I think I'm supposed to have. So I ate some chips. I went to Target and bought some chips and I opened them and I didn't like them and I took them back. What'd they say? They took them back. Wow. Yes. These businesses will take back anything, guys. Somebody said Let you me can empower return you things at Trader Joe's. And I was you like, I don't ever want to eat there again. Everything. They're not going to put it back on the shelf. They, they might. Trader Joe's is Trader <laughs> Joe. <-ing. laughs> what do you, not that what do you think their name used is? Used bags of chips. No, 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 no shade. But Trader Joe's, you got to be careful. I mean, I, I would hope that they're not like resealing the bags. It's organic. Either <laughs> organic don't mean used, bitch. <laughs> I would hope, oh, but I Lord. think we, this is another like people pleasing thing where we just kind of don't like something that we've paid our money for and we accept oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You just yeah. keep it as opposed to taking but it back. But just think about it. That's your mom and them. They not taking shit when they we don't were kids like. and we was young, we was like, wow, this person is crazy. She no, needs to calm yeah, down. Yeah, she it's ain't just, crazy. It's just... She has set a standard for what she wants her life to look like. And when the shit outside of her world don't meet the standard that she has invited into her and world. And this is why we all unemployed. We got to figure... <laughs> no, it's just because a lot of us are tired of certain things too. Mm -hmm. Like, so we got to fix it though, guys. We don't have to fix it. It's not on us to fix. <laughs> There's nothing for us to fix. I want to be crystal clear about that. We can't fix the workforce. We can't. I, no, I've been applying. Yeah. So I've been applying weird. for jobs. Some kind of finding something kind of remote. And the amount of I don't think they do that in LA. Do they? Remote work? Oh, somebody told me that they don't or they don't have a lot or something. Like that. Girl, there's plenty of remote jobs. Really? Yeah. Hell yeah. Mm. Um, but it's hard to get them. Okay. But they yeah, out there. Really um, but I've been applying and the amount of experience that they want to pay you $18 an hour. I've been seeing that. This is not a, a system that we need to fix. The system is broken from the top. What happened? Why is that? Like I've been seeing like you you looking for surgeons, 18 yeah. an hour. Like, yeah. <laughs> bro, well, I'm never getting surgery again. We know, like, <laughs> like, like it's just really kind of wild to me because I feel like you're not really there's there's this culture of not valuing the amount of work that it takes to get to a certain level in life. And you're asking people to go to school for five years, seven years, however long it takes to get like higher level degrees. And then you're coming out and you're not even paying us enough to no. pay back the student loans we took out no. to be able to like get these degrees. I mean, like, I think it's just what's in demand. Like, I think uh, I've been, because I've been tapping in, you know, yeah. I'll be all on and on TikTok, but I've been tapping in. So that's, the girlies are saying the medical field is where the, the who, shift who is. Who getting a medical degree right now? I'm 39. I, I don't, well, like CNAs or. I'm not doing no more school. I don't really think that's fun though. I don't. I don't I've wanna, never seen a, yeah, a nurse no. video that says she was having a great They're time. They're not having a good time. And they also have to deal with the doctors who are notoriously like. I'm too old. Yeah. For somebody talking to me. Wow. Right. <laughs> Doctor, we're patient. I'm gonna throw that okay? in there. When you like, get a certain age, yes, somebody just, get loose with the lip. I just gotta, and I'm gonna have to leave you <laughs> in after. here to deal with whatever you got going on because I can't deal with this. And so, yes. yeah, I can't do that. Like, yeah, we, like I had a little sitch, 
and, I, and I'm getting good. I'm getting really good, like with my corporate curse out. I call mm-hmm. it. It's so a clean. per my last email type situation. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's it's professional. You know, you getting chopped up a little bit. Mm-hmm. You you could feel the heat, mm-hmm. but it's professional. Yeah. You know, you're not gonna call me about it. You're gonna just be like <laughs> touche. And then hit yeah. me with what you got. I later. definitely <laughs> was a. Uh, oh, I mean, can we, can we have a private conversation just to check in in your? Office? I can't even. I don't. Need, I've reached the age y'all where I'm not even about private conversations. Oh because no, I, I feel like I, I can't do yeah. it. Yeah, it's I'll do it private, my, Ooh, and no. I'll do an email, mm-hmm. and I'll CC some people on the email, and I per our conversation, email. where you dictate back in the email everything that was said in the conversation. Just want to make sure we're clear about the things that were talked about, and oh, then I you, pull out receipts. You like itemize everything yeah. that was talked about because it's just great if you work in a corporate culture to have a paper trail of things oh yeah yeah that's in life I, mm-hmm. just you need that in life you do yeah because you need a paper trail on your <laughs> not on your man <laughs> you, need, you need a paper trail on more than your job i said nowadays you Baby, gotta I have got a to whole keep a paper file. trail on a man we're gonna have to give oh, everybody no heave ho. it ain't no way everybody you gotta mm-hmm. have it on you gotta be have a list like gotta know what's popping out sad nowadays no it's, it's litty it's it's a lot um it's litty <laughs> especially i think especially now too like you know it's even more lit because i feel like now the younger generation they have like better jobs and i feel like all of us went to college they'd be like i didn't even go to college and they're making like six figures they're yeah. like making all this money and then like all these older people are like they can't figure it out they barely know how to use phones they just getting tiktok well they a lot of the younger culture started on fucking youtube when they were 14 years old right like right, these but- are the original influencers like and not the original influencers but these are people who caught on to the trend of what would be lucrative very early and so they're not going through the same like rat race that we went through where we're True. trying to they just tapped into being themselves online and it worked for them and so i know a lot of other ones are like oh okay i'm not about to major in education or the things that which is smart i think yeah because the thing is they don't value teachers in this culture they don't value people who are like keeping the world service workers like people who are keeping the world running hospitality these are not places where you're gonna get the type of money that you deserve because let's be clear having to deal with the public having to deal with other people's children these are things that you should be paid six figures for out of the gate like you should they don't pay you like that and so the kids have kind of like caught on to the oh i saw how my mom and dad worked and i never want to have to work that hard for that little of a Mm -hmm. like paycheck and they're saying okay let me make sure i'm majoring in computer science sciences or engineering or yeah, getting people, my doing my like medical degree or becoming a lawyer because out of the gate you're making a much different salary mm-hmm. than people who are doing like social cause work or like um what is the other thing I said the people who are working in the service industry so I think they just caught on a lot earlier yeah yeah and we we didn't catch on we got early. told we, you can be whatever you want to be baby and if i was you work like really hard they didn't tell us about <laughs> yeah, the part no. where you would burn out to the point where your brain was like bitch if you don't fucking do something different we're gonna take a long nap but i think things change a lot over time like what was a great job two three years ago might not be that great job now yeah like i think it changes i think when i was like leaving college i don't know i think medical was always the number one mm-hmm. but I feel like in the last few years, a lot of people got into tech and engineering mm-hmm. and like, so. Yeah. But that's not doing great. Aren't they all being laid off? <sighs> yeah. I don't know. I, who knows what. I don't know. I don't know. You're anyway, supposed to be but... doing. You, this is why it pays to just do whatever the fuck you want to do and figure out how to monetize it. That's literally what I'm on is like making sure that I'm living in to the things that actually bring me joy As opposed to reporting to a job every day that makes me want to fucking scream at the top of my lungs. Y'all ever got in the car, had one of those days where everything just went a completely different way than the direction you thought it was going to go. That's my entire life. Yeah. What? And you got to get in the car and scream because you feel so much fucking rage for how left your life seems to be going or this particular moment in your life, rather. And the only thing that you can do with the fiery rage that you feel in your body is to scream have yeah, you I ever mean, done that no oh it feels so good if you have never gotten in your I'm car and cryer. screamed I'm at the top of your i am a crier mm-hmm. too but <laughs> screaming at the top of your lungs me and my bestie did it when she came to mm-hmm. um la we went to the Y'all ocean cried together no we oh, held like, hands Damn. and like <laughs> screamed at the top of our lungs at the ocean it what was it, what it, what? amazing not at the top of the ocean at the top of our lungs <laughs> <laughs> we like 
what is going on? We both have just been through so much over the last like six months. Did y'all plan this? No, but we this got there and was moment. like, like, yeah. like, how do you link up with your best friend and scream at the ocean? Yeah, like we. Oh um, I'm not living my life. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I gotta, you, I gotta. If you and your bestie not doing like ceremonial shit when y'all get to certain Clip, places, I'm um, like, yes, yeah, so ceremonial. But, yes, what? because I think the release that you first of all when you go to the ocean, people really get into like we. I'm, People yeah. really get into that. Like, are you one of the eclipse people? Yes. Up with the, okay. Yes. But I am what a, happened though? I'm an earth sign people. So I'm very oh. woo woo. My best friend is an earth sign. We're very like. I think it's bananas y'all met at the ocean. Didn't scream we didn't meet at the ocean, bitch. I picked her up from the airport. What is happening? <laughs> you know, it's funny because it's like the way my mind sees it. It's just like y'all just holding hands and just screaming it. We did. We literally. And okay. then like fire comes out of the I'm like, me, what is this? The craft? Let me the picture because I actually think more people should do this. <laughs> I insane. think you would feel a lot better about things if you let it out. So we oh, have, yeah. yes, we have, I think. At the ocean. Culturally, <laughs> wherever you want to let it out. In the car, at the ocean, wherever. True. But the reason we did it at the ocean is because the ocean is the abyss as far as I'm concerned. Like, obviously space is the abyss, abyss but the ocean is, there's just a million different things happening in the ocean that we hope we have no idea about <laughs> that's what y'all was thinking when y'all was that's what i think when i go to the ocean that's deep it's very like it puts, i don't want to know what's down there at all exactly but it puts into perspective that we're small and that the things that we've been going through as big as they feel we're just like a tiny little atom on a major like massive planet and that you guys is how it all begins with anxiety <laughs> well, <laughs> like no but i think when you i put just it freaked into, out for like we're small <laughs> we are though and when you go to the ocean oh you put God. it into perspective of like yeah, well. okay like my problems are not as enormous as they always feel and the screaming part is just a release people be scared to release people are so worried about what other people are going to think what other people are going to feel how they're going to judge you but the motherfuckers that you see out on the street they be kind of high but they be just dancing living their life the they doing all right because they're they not doing worried right. about they are no. because they're not giving a fuck what you think about them true i, I get them that yes, they, living they don't best. give a fuck what you think about them because they have nothing to lose they don't but i think the thing is what people are missing is i mean that if i was you, out there that long I'd be dancing. but i think what people are missing oh, about screaming at the ocean is that it allows you to release the pent up just frustration and anxiety that you've held on to for all this time and that doesn't make a difference if you scream at a creek or <laughs> I hate her. <laughs> <laughs> or a lake. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I just but, feel like, well, what if they don't have the ocean? If you don't, just go scream outside. Oh, okay. The point is just to scream. But don't get I in just, trouble because the police it, could get caught. Yeah, I mean, don't get a <laughs> like, fucking don't noise just disturbance. And people did look at us, but we didn't give a fuck because <laughs> we out here living our life. It's not your business while we screaming. Mind your I don't know fucking why business. So funny to me. Yeah, but I think the thing is, it's so funny to you because it makes you a little uncomfortable, right? Maybe. Because you wouldn't do that. Yeah, because I feel like I would. No, well. You might be self-conscious about. I don't know if I. I think I'm just silly. So if I just start screaming at the ocean, I'd start laughing. Yeah. At me because I'm like, you're screaming. But think about the angriest you've ever been. And you can't really go out and like beat nobody ass. Right. Like we passed the point where we can physically assault people. We're right. not going to do that. I but what I you can do. Is use your voice to communicate how you feel. And sometimes there are not enough words to communicate every raw emotion that you're experiencing. Sometimes you just need to scream. I'll be going to the gym. I do too. Sometimes <laughs> I you don't know. just need to I scream. I mean, see, <laughs> but where, I don't know. That just seems crazy to me. Like, yeah. you know. I think it's crazy to you because you haven't done it. I think for people And I mean who, at the ocean. Yeah, I, I think for people I who are <laughs> a little like, oh, I don't know about that. It makes you uncomfortable. You need to examine what about somebody releasing their emotions in a loud way makes you uncomfortable. Because the Oh, me? Like if I'm I'm, I'm talking about there? people who are listening. Like if you if you heard me say I screamed at the ocean, I want you to examine what about someone else screaming at the ocean or what about you screaming at the ocean makes you uncomfortable cuz nothing's going to happen. No, I feel like if I if I saw like if I was at the beach or whatever and I saw y'all scream at the ocean and I was like just there, I probably would have <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure people were cracking up. I'm sure Not people were a bad so thing, intrigued. But my mind would have been like, this is what LA. What are they doing? Exactly. No, I would have been like, they're probably doing something great. Like this is LA. <laughs> they they brought their crystals. They're changing we things We have no tonight. crystals, but we could have. 
Like somebody, I, <laughs> I don't know. I would have just thought of something silly like that. But that's, yeah. in other words, my mind thinks in a way that's just too silly sometimes, I guess. Yeah. But Maybe I, it's a, I don't know. I but think it is wild. important to make sure that you're honoring whatever space you're in and however your body needs to get it out. And oh, so, yeah. yeah, a lot of times you in the moment don't have the time to process the moment or the emotions. But if you go going through a very rough period oh, yeah. where you just have had one thing after another pile up and pile up and pile up and you have not been able to get that cry out and you ain't been able to release, there's two things you could do. You can fucking scream and you can dance. And those are things that are going to help you. Dancing specifically helps you release your emotions. I don't think people know this. It's like a form that of somatic like release. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it it actually helps you. And you'll find if you dance, you might cry afterwards because it helps this you. This is crazy. Like, it yeah. Like <laughs> Well, if it's really, if you're down, down, yeah. If I'm, I don't I even cry, think, I'd be yeah, crying. I'd, I'd be, be dramatic. I don't, I, don't know. Know. I don't even think it's dramatic, I don't know though. if I've had any, like, screaming days or, like, I have screaming days. days. I'm I... just going to slide down the wall. <laughs> no, that's me. That's I'm next level. Yeah. Yeah. But I also will slide down the wall. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's nothing wrong with how you express the, the frustration that you feel. What I'm saying is... However you decide to express it, you need to be comfortable in that so that you can continue to get it out. Because what oh, happens yeah, is when you're, yeah. Yeah, when you're constantly wearing your frustration, your anxiety, your depression, it not only ages you physically, you'll look up and baby, the wrinkles will just be everywhere. Yeah. It'll fall. It, you, you ever see how you look when you just start dating yeah. somebody, how happy you be looking? You be like, why am I this mm -hmm. fine? Cause you real happy. Mm -hmm. You gotta be happy. You gotta find out that. Yes, yeah. and if that person is like a soul sucker, that glow up. Yeah, the glow you, is mm -hmm. going to slowly dissipate. Like so, you, you know, really pay attention have to, to your mindful. skin when it's time to leave. Yeah, like, yeah, like glow dimming. Like I think you just have to be aware of what your body is feeling and what yeah. it needs. Oh, Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah, that's what I'm for. Yeah, that's pretty much what I'm saying. I have. I am forcing myself to be on a schedule to go out and mingle more. Um, because I feel like I'm in that age now where I'm going to go lay down. Yeah. So like to switch gears, we, what I was saying was like, it's ex acceptance. Like as you get older, you start accepting things for what they are mm -hmm. or what they, what you can do. Like for me, yeah. I know a lot for me is like, now I don't try to push myself too much. Yeah. It, I know now I'm at a level where this is all you can do for the, at this time. Yeah. Like, so I don't try to like overwork myself or be hard on myself if I'm not at a certain level with comedy or whatever. Yeah. I try to like be like, this is where you are right now. And, and it's okay. He working out like I'm pretty good at that with myself. But Yeah. And I think we <clears throat> also, because when you're in your 20s, I feel like you're constantly searching for answers and you're just kind of, you're in a space where you're trying to figure everything out and figure out how you fit in and uh, trying to like do everything and be everybody and uh, show up as much as you can, as often as you can. And as you get older, you understand that you are always going to search for answers, but there are none. Like you can't figure everything out the way that you thought you could in your twenties and you're okay with that. That was like, that's yeah, that's the acceptance. Yeah. It's Self just, yeah. Yeah. And your self-esteem is kind yeah. of like, growing into a person who is okay with not having all the answers all the time being sure of yourself yeah i think that for that for me anyway i feel like that is when i really started to solidly feel very comfortable in my set yeah and very comfortable with the way i dress and yeah who i am as a woman all of that like it's just you know being comfortable with yourself like being self-acceptance of yeah so now you're not like trying to fit the narrative or yeah be whatever you think the hot the men think women should look like or mm -hmm. you should have friends like this when you get to that level, you're like, okay, take it or leave it. God damn it. it for real though. <laughs> for real though. And it really does become a point where you're so comfortable, cozy mm -hmm. in the skin you're in mm -hmm. that you're not, you don't really give a fuck how you come off to people. Like, obviously you're not coming at people crazy, but you are who you are. And you can like who I am and that'll, that'll be great. Right. And if you don't, well, I'm not for you. And that's also great. That's fine. I mean, because, I, I feel like that. I feel like a lot of times, like, I used to think when I, I would lose a friendship or a break a breakup or something, mm -hmm. I'd be like, oh, I got to fix me. I got to, like, yeah. figure out what did I did or whatever. Now I feel like, no, you've already done the work. Mm -hmm. Now I'm like, this is this is it. Yeah. So if this person did that and this is what you see, it you know, like, yeah. I don't, yeah. It's, I try to learn something from every situation. Yes. But, something you know. Something also that comes with age. Is yeah. you definitely start to be more of like reflective of how you can could have shown up differently 
mm-hmm. as opposed to feeling like every failed whatever, whether it's a job or a relationship. And a lot of times it'd be other people's fault. But you still go into a place of reflection of trying to figure out how could I have like changed the way that I interacted with this so that I could have gotten a better outcome for myself. Right. 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 Yeah. That, that one is, that's key. Yeah. That's key. Because sometimes it just means you could have left earlier. Like it doesn't I necessarily. I think about that a lot with yeah. like different jobs or scenarios I was in in the past, like in my like younger years where you're like, you didn't even need to say anything. Yeah. Or you didn't even need to like, like for example, like, um, Sometimes I'll have like an issue or something at work and like I'll tell my mom or friend or somebody and they're like, you need to go and say, I'm like, I've been through so many scenarios or situations like these. Yeah. Where it's like, I know how to handle this. It's called come in here, Mm -hmm. do this and Mm -hmm. exit stage left. Mm -hmm. Like now I'm at an age where I'm like, I don't necessarily think I have to always defend myself and everything. Mm -hmm. You I let pick people and choose. think what they want. Yeah. Yes. Like I pick and choose. Baby, the growth, the freedom in letting people <clears> think <throat> what they want in just not caring how somebody perceives you, especially when you know that the way somebody perceives you is not the way you intended for them to perceive you, but also like it was never what I gave. That was what you decided to take from that. It's a freedom in that. Yeah. Because it allows you to just absolve yourself th- from the responsibility of trying to make people feel a certain way about the you. The people pleasing part. Yes. yes. You yeah. cannot control how other people feel about you. I'm and not going to be rude. I mean, yeah, you have to, no. you, at some point in your life, you kind of got to people please a you little do, bit. Of course. Yeah. Like there are some parts of you that have to, but like you don't voluntarily do it anymore. Yeah. I guess it's, that's the proper way. Cause I feel like I have to people please at work. Yeah. You, you know, or in like stuff like, yeah. yeah, you got to kind of be like, all right, yay. Even yeah. though you're like, fuck. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> you know, <laughs> but I don't think I voluntarily do it anymore. No. Like, I think there was a part of my, I don't, for me, I'm I'm still learning that. I don't think there was a part of me that was completely people pleasing as much with people than it would be in relationships. But I had to learn verbalize, like way to better ways to talk. Yeah. I had to learn, like my mother used to tell me even when I was a kid, she was like, it's not what you say, it's how you say mm-hmm. it. And so like, that was something I was like always needing to learn. So mm-hmm. when for me in workplaces, when I think about myself and my youth, I will be turned. Yeah. Like as I got older, I was like, yes, you were fired. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, ma'am. Like, and you said that they, how, can y'all, how y'all gonna fire? Yes. Yes. I'm firing you. Like, yes. So yeah, I, I've learned from things where I think about what I, how I approach certain things then. Yeah. I would never approach them that way now. And now I'm in an age where it's like, is it worth it? Five minutes after this, mm-hmm. I won't even care. I won't even think about it. I won't even again. care. Yeah. So. Yeah. My mom definitely used to tell me you have a razor tongue because I would talk to people. Turn. Crazy. Yeah. We also from St. Louis and Chicago. It's a very straightforward. We just are straight mm-hmm. shooters. We're not going to beat around the bush for you. Yeah. Like, this is how I feel. You have pissed me off. And the thing is, me and my sister still talk to each other crazy. If you ever heard a conversation I would have with my sister, people would be like, do you motherfuckers like each other? Love each other. I'm crazy mm-hmm. about her. Oh, just the way y'all. That's yeah. the way we interact, though. Like, yeah, you going to hear, uh, bitch, you get on my nerves. I got to go. That's just how we talk to each that other. That was a thing in, in yeah. the Midwest. Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. I think we're just very, like... We're not going to sugarcoat or try to mince words It's very for direct. You. It's very direct. And I, and I didn't realize that until I got I to LA, either. really. I thought that everybody just said how Excuse they me. felt. You got to be a yeah, little- Yeah, no, it's not like that. Got to do a, a little oil all. sheen on it and make say it here. prettier. Yeah. Glossier. It's got to be glossy. Yeah. It's got to have lies on it. It's got to- Yeah. <laughs> you got to have a little phony on top. You got to put but, a little picture. <clears throat> yeah. But I had to learn that the hard way. In other words, I, I've learned as I've gotten older, like, I just- now, also knowing myself, I do not do like altercations like that. Mm-mm. Like if somebody's trying to go back and forth with me, I'm mm-hmm. like, I know me. This isn't, there's no way you're going to say that and I'm going to say something and then we're going to yeah, say things. It's like, no. you're going to throw rocks. I'm going to throw bricks. It's going to get weird. <laughs> so let me just be like, the police know. are going to be called because <laughs> you're going to be fucking uh, when annihilated. You know, when you know who, you're, who you are too, you're like, this isn't even yeah. worth it. This isn't even worth it. Yeah. So it definitely gets you to a place where you're just a lot more comfortable to like walk away than to have a big blow up about some shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, that's that's when anything as you get older, it's like jobs, relationships. Yeah. Like, but that's the part that I'm trying to give to some of my friends that are like not motivated now because they're like, we've seen it. Mm hmm. We've seen how the side jobs go. We see how the job goes. We see how men do, you know, pe- like finding that after like. <laughs> everything you learn like you don't want to be tainted and like yeah because i do feel like as i get older i do 
feel like things get less and less. Like a, like your birthday. Like when yeah. you be younger, you be like, it's, you it's do about that life. Up. It's yeah. a birthday week, a birthday month. It's a baby. Mu- yeah. And my birthday be- rolled around last year and I was like, oh, I got to do this again. I want to go to sleep. <laughs> I, I wasn't like that. I was like, my birthday lit. It's going to be fun. But I didn't do nothing. I think I was also just severely depressed. But yeah, okay. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. That'll I definitely did not have the bandwidth to like turn up for my birthday. Yeah. Um, that means I, you got to do it. You got to do it. You got to give yourself another you birthday now. Yeah. I know. I need to do yeah. a half birthday. Yeah. You should do something yeah. for that. Um, but yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think we are... As you come of age and as you like go through more in life, you kind of strip yourself back to like the necessities and everything else just mm-hmm. kind of falls falls away because yeah. it's too much to carry. It's too Ooh, much. That's a great way to yeah, put it. Yeah. It's too much to carry for me to. You think that just comes with like, as you get older, you're just like, all right, I got to put something down. Hopefully. Yeah. I don't know if it does for everybody, but I think for sure it does for me. I don't think it does for everybody. Yeah. I have I again, I think for me over time learning about myself, that's been like a space, but I have some friends that literally, you know, have a hard time with that. Yeah. And they like don't know which way to li- literally go sometimes cuz they're like, "I don't I don't go out how I used to. I don't do this like I used to. I don't yeah. have to, I don't be, you know, I got this all day." You just start changing and then like I'm always trying to find ways to motivate them because mm-hmm. they live in two different worlds than me too. You're yeah. like, I, well, get into the gym or join this group or I really don't accountability know. partners, like I was saying. I don't know how people with kids do it. I don't know that I have a way to motivate them, <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> not, I'm not even gonna, like, I'm not even going to hold you because I just think the work that people who are parents have to do, it's insane. Yeah. And I don't have, I'm coming from a place of, childless privilege <laughs> like right i can't tell you just wake up at four because you're I take probably it out to my, my mom man yeah like now that, now that i'm like now you that know, you out in the world well they had kids already they did they had kids our age at already. my age my mom can had you imagine four. running around la with, with it? <laughs> four kids baby i'm crying again with my baby yeah because <laughs> like, yeah, i'm a whiner yes at my age my mom had four kids and i wouldn't have had the yeah. energy either and no. so you do hear these stories about people who just kind of like one day they woke up and they had i think you said a butterfly moment oh. where something major happened and it just clicked inside of them and they were like okay i'm about to put in this this all i got is this hour in the morning with oh, no kids, yeah. I'm about to put this hour towards something that is going to change my life. And over the course of like a year, you see their life oh, blossom you into have something to do that. completely different. But I don't know where they find in the energy. And as a person with no kids, I can't tell you to wake up earlier or find a time in your day where you can do X, Y, Z. Because I don't know what it's like to work 40 hours a week and come just, home and I have, think to you, have a child. That's true. Yeah. But you did have a great point. You said making a schedule. Yes. You said that earlier. And I think that's a great point. I think you have to. As yeah. you get older, you have to put yourself in a schedule. Unfortunately, yes. we don't weren't on schedules in our twenties because we just didn't care. We didn't. We just. But we also had like some semblance of like a normal job, or we felt like we're working to something. Like we had a hustle about us in our twenties that we don't have now. We still have a hustle, but we fit in how we can like also take care of ourselves. Yeah, I think I, I was more focused on having fun, though. I, yeah. <laughs> I definitely was definitely paying my bills, and I, I was focused, and I definitely had goals. I mean, same yeah. person that I am now, but I was more concerned about what I was going to wear mm-hmm. to what I was doing at the time, whereas that's not a thing to me now. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm I'm way more responsible. Like, to me now, on my birthday, it would be cooler to have something paid off. You yes. know what I'm saying? That's, that's, <laughs> that's that mentality, this baby. This bag is when you, nice, but this you was $5,000. You know okay. what I can do with it? <laughs> pay off something you know yes that that's that's where i'm at with it but that's the yeah. real tea yeah you definitely get in your real real grown-up bag of like oh i don't want to spend this money on clothes i need a new refrigerator or yeah something like that but you are responsible you become yeah. a responsible person yeah. but i do think birthdays are important you should have did something cute you should have still did something cute and i mean it's coming up again i'll do it this year <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know about that. Uh, I mean, you can get older and want to go to bed early. Know, Turn up in like... the morning or something, you know? <laughs> have a brunch event. I don't know. But, I'm gonna yeah. It's coming up in September. I'll make sure I have something spectacular planned. But I don't know. Sometimes you just don't be into it. And it... this is me. I'm, this, is yeah. what I, this is what I was trying to bring up. I was like, this is me now. I'm a very, like, motivated person. And I'm seeing how fast everything's going with social media. For mm-hmm. example, um, we were all saying the other day, like, you kind of have to be very present on social media now. Yeah. To where you pop off like it's mm-hmm. not even about tv opportunities will be there yeah. but 
you want to be Drewski or Marco or any of those people that are doing very, very great yeah. for themselves, um, you got to be online. So I was like, how do I find the time with that and try to make sure I got an income and make sure I'm doing X, Y? Because you have a lot of other things on your plate mm -hmm. as you get older. So I've been trying to put myself on the schedule. That's why I was like, you made a point. Because I was like okay. doing three videos a day. I did I three this morning this is, before how, 10. How? How? I don't know how to do this. I'm trying to push myself. How are you? <laughs> like, what do the videos even be on? Like, what? How? Look, literally, no, I'm literally I'm just... asking her how because oh, I feel like, like this just... is information for all of us. <laughs> how like... did you do this? Like, tell me. Um, okay. So this is for a different page that I have. Like, because I have okay. a few different. I have a beauty page also on TikTok. So I do like different skincare products where I can put the product at the bottom and people can actually purchase it from the page. Okay. So I do different skincare videos. Like, yeah. So they're very simple. They're yeah. 15 seconds, but I'll do oh, one okay. clip doing this, one clip doing this, one clip doing this, and I just draft them all. And is it like one, so say for instance, you're doing um, three separate videos. Mm -hmm. Are you recording it all at once and then no. just blocking it out? Oh, okay. I do the first half. I'll give myself three seconds to have this look. Boom, it's clicked. Okay. Open it up again at the bottom. I don't know if people know how to do that. Uh -huh. It's um, If you go to TikTok and like the, the editing side, yeah. Click on where you're supposed to do the countdown to start oh. the video. When you go to the bottom, there's an option where you can slide how much time you want. So you can shoot yourself one way in this link. Stop. Watch it. You like it? Great. Go back. Do it again. Shoot yourself another way. And you're editing as you're shooting. Oh, this is fantastic. So as you're shooting, you're editing. And then so that's already a video. She gave y'all some tea. You watch the whole thing, great, it's awesome. If you want to go and fix a little stuff, you can do that. Boom, add your music, add your captions, throw it in the drafts. Shoot another one, do the same thing. Shoot, shoot it in the draft. So now you got stuff in your drafts to fire all day. I'm here right now. When I leave here, I don't have to shoot the video. I'm just going to get in the car, and post posting. the video. We're good for the midday post now. I've okay. done a morning mid post. So now I'm waiting, chilling. Tonight, when I'm on my couch watching TV, boom, nine o'clock, last day. I'm Baby, done look, I am just blown away. This is so amazing. <laughs> so, <yeah, what> I, <laughs> but what I was saying, that's what I'm trying to find. At a certain age, you're like, to keep up with what's going on outside. Yeah. And to be on a Drewski or any kind of level like that, they're posting yeah. all day. And they actually doing like. They're never stopping. <laughs> they doing live action. Like they that too. Going you also to, should they be setting going shit live. up you and like be. doing skits and writing scripts and it's a whole situation for but them. But to be yeah. great, even for our pod, even yeah. for us. Yes. You know, like busy as we are in our own personal lives and me having my other things to do. We have to find time to promote this. And like, that's what I'm saying. Like, where do you find it as you get older yeah. to be able to keep up with what's going on? Because we have to fund this ourselves. We do. On top of. Editing this yes. <laughs> and posting this on all the platforms. Yes. Somebody tired Color someday. Clips, yeah. So yes. how do we find time to like writing catchy captions and like um the headline at the top so people will actually watch it? it yeah, you're right. It's you know what I'm saying? So I try yeah. to push myself to put on a schedule and figure out how to find time because I just notice a lot of my close friends, that is their complaint right now. They're like, yeah. Bro, I feel burned out. Like mm -hmm. I don't even feel want to go to the gym, you know, either depression or they're just tired from work. And I'm and people are trying to figure out other ways to start businesses or work for themselves, but they're just burned out. Yeah. Yeah. So like I'm you saying the schedule, I think that's what's working for me. I tell myself every morning I have to shoot at least two. Okay. Save them in a drafts, have my full day. I'm gonna try this this week. This oh, is that, my that's goal a for the super week. perk. Um yeah. that's like a tea I just get Jimmy, I just gave y'all. Like yeah. a lot of people don't know about that. It's like if you go to the timer thing. Yeah. And you go to the bottom, you can move. You can it you know you can move it however yeah. you want to. Okay. So you just film yourself doing that, holding the plate. Okay, you got that part. Boom. Next one. Holding the cup. Boom. Hmm. Next one. And so Drinking. this actually makes <laughs> so sense. easy. It makes sense because you constantly see people, they'll make a whole recipe and they'll just have like a conversation. And every sentence that they say is in a new part of the video. That's so if I got to make a crust, I'm, the first sentence I'm saying is like me putting out the flour. Mm -hmm. The sec second time I talk, I'm like cracking the egg in the flour. And obviously I'm mm -hmm. vegan. I'm not doing an egg. But you get the point. Mm -hmm. Every single step of their recipe comes with a new sentence, which means they're probably, okay, mm -hmm. I'm just having like an aha moment right now. Thank you. That's what they're doing. You see what you're getting? We that's why that's she why people giving love, tea. Yeah, yes. that's people love TikTok because they have all the tools yes. within the And also I feel like they push it more when you edit it within the app anyway. Oh yeah. Yeah. I okay. mean it's better. You can it's yeah. faster. But Okay. Yeah. That's what I like do when I kind of just a lot that's why people are like, oh, how do you have like in a day? You just draft them. Yeah. 
So then, okay. boom, 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 boom. This yeah. is something I definitely need to work on and something that I will implement this week. Um, I mean, what can we give them? Because we actually running out of time. What can we, we give uh, them? I even, yeah. I we, mean, that I feel was a like quick episode. Yeah. It, I, I don't know. Some of it. <laughs> we got a little off topic. It got a little wavy in there. It's okay. <laughs> it got hit. <laughs> I don't know. I said scream at the ocean and Fatima was like, wait, hold on. What the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) But this episode, I I want everybody to just give yourself some grace because I feel like there's a lot of stress outside right now. Give yourself some grace and give yourself some time and create a schedule. Yes. That will work best for you. Create a schedule and uh, that's all I got. Be comfortable setting your boundaries. Like be comfortable (laughs) saying like, this is something that I'm not necessarily going to do. And And don't go to the ocean. (laughs) Go to the ocean and scream out loud if you need to. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Bye, guys. All right, bye.